Action. spoken to the police about what's happened? No, no, of course not. I, I've seen enough Perry Mason know not to go to the cops. Perfect. So, where do we go from here? I do my job, and you just wait. Okay, I, I, just, I just want you to give me the best deal possible. Deal? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm ready to talk about what happened. I'm ready to confess and... That won't be necessary, Miss Smith. This will all be over by tomorrow, and you can go back to your life as if this never happened. Like I said, I do my job, and you just wait. What? How? How could somebody who did what I did just walk it off like a tank hit by a 22? No. I'm owning up to what I did. I'm ready to confess. I'm ready to pay. Settle down, Miss Smith. Although you're welcome to tell me your side of the story, since that is part of my duties as your attorney, I know what happened. And it will be resolved before you know it. I don't understand. How do you know? You stroll in here an hour later, and I haven't said anything about my case. Take comfort in the fact that you don't have to worry about the details. Think of what I do as a duck. Calm on the outside, swimming like a madman under the surface. So let me get this straight. I'm ready to plead guilty in front of a judge and you're saying that I shouldn't? It's not so much that you shouldn't, Miss Smith, but rather you won't. You will not confess and you will not plead guilty in front of a judge. Why? How? Do you have some sort of ace up your sleeve that'll get me off? Something like that. I get it. You're worried about being that loser, lawyer. You're worried about what a losing streak might look like on your career scorecard. Miss Smith, you don't. Newsflash, dude. I don't care about your reputation. You are here to represent me and my wishes. Miss Smith. I'll get a different lawyer then. I'll get someone who represents me in what I want. That is not an option. Not an option? What are you even talking about? It's my right to have somebody I trust. It's my your right- Your rights are relevant at this point, Miss Smith. There are bigger issues that transcend either of us. What are you getting at? You being in jail is not conducive to the greater good. Greater good? What the hell are you talking about? Sooner or later, every criminal faces up to their crime. I might as well just skip the whole running away part and do the time. What is so bad about a felon confessing about what they did? When that felon takes steps to avoid what they're supposed to be doing with their life, Miss Smith, interfering with the machinations of larger goals that benefit humanity, then they must be protected. So I'm not allowed to do the right thing? The right thing in your mind, Miss Smith, is to take responsibility for your actions. The right thing for future events is to make sure that nothing interferes with you contributing to those events. You keep saying that. What are you talking talking about? I've already said too much. Leave me to my work so that you can do yours. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just a saleswoman. What could I be doing with my life that it would be so terrible for everyone if I were in jail?
do you think this is about you? That I'm only able to focus on what you want? Do you think I'm concerned about my reputation? Miss Smith, we all need to pay attention to the bigger picture. You play a vital role in what is going on in the world today. As your attorney, it is my primary function to ensure that you are able to fulfill your role. But there is no escaping what I did. Whatever I may do in the future will not take the guilt off of my shoulders. Then let me ask you something, Miss Smith. Do you want to go to jail? No. No, of course I don't want to go to jail. But I hear all the time about people committing crimes and they're doing everything they can to try to avoid it. I want to be someone, a criminal, I, I guess, but I want to be willing to say yes, it was me. Do you think yourself a criminal? Well, I, I committed a crime, so yeah, that makes me a criminal. What? You have no idea how refreshing it is to find someone who has good intentions. For years, I worked with so many clients who had committed the most heinous acts against one another, only to try and hide what they did, escape the responsibility of their actions. So, so you know why I need to make this right? I do. Your father did a marvelous job on teaching you the virtue of honesty. What? I'm reminded of when you broke your grandfather's lamp. You were terrified how your father would react. But you knew it was better to confess than to hide what you did. You were terrified. With no idea how your father would react or the consequences. Yet you confessed. How, how do you know? <laughs> He still punished you, but I feel the same way as he did in that moment. And when your teacher caught you helping a classmate cheat on the big test, you told her who you were helping, even though you knew the students would later retaliate. You were suspended, but commended later by the principal. Okay, okay. How, how do you know all of this? <sighs> there are those who refuse to lie because of cultural scripts. They tell them as much. Unlike them, you have a sincere history of honesty. What? Uh, who, who are you? You know who I am. I'm your attorney, representing you in this matter. <sighs> Look, we all make mistakes, Miss Smith. Our only hope is that they are not noticed by the public and that they don't affect anyone. Disappointingly, with your recent actions, you landed both. But it's all right. You are honest not because you want to avoid the fate of lying, but because you want to do what's right. Let me assure you that your actions will bring good things to the world. Like what? I wish I could tell you, believe me. Trust me when I say for the time being, you need to keep doing what you're doing and it will help a lot of people down the road. Why should I trust you? It's like I told you. There's no choice for either of us in this matter. Who's to say that I don't go to the press? You won't let me talk to a judge? I'll talk to a reporter. 
There's no need to be adversarial with me, Miss Smith. Why not? You've got a gag order on me and won't tell me why. That is true. To answer your question, you can talk to the media. If your goal is to make my job that much more difficult, that'll do the trick. I think you still don't understand the situation that you're a part of, though. Whatever wave you try to make to upset the grand scheme, it will eventually settle. The sooner you cooperate, the better for everyone. Yeah, including me, right? Your words, not mine. Well, if that's all, I must get back to the rest of my duties. Sit tight, Miss Smith. Wait! What's gonna happen after I do what you want me to do, huh? What's gonna happen after that? Will I still get this deus ex machina level of protection? Let me put it to you this way, Miss Smith. There comes a time in every parent's life when they can no longer be responsible for their children's actions. When your time comes, for your sake, I hope you will tread lightly. Are you here to take my confession? I don't know what you're talking about, ma'am. I'm just here to let you go. 